Cooper's Cookbook Corner. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are gonna be making prized potato soup from the unofficial Witcher Cookbook. Uh, it does have quite a few ingredients today. We are going to be using a lot of potatoes. You will need four large russet potatoes that we've already diced up. You will also need some other large russet potatoes that we have already boiled and diced that we're gonna be using to make a potato puree. You will also need some whole milk, sour cream for topping. We've got minced garlic, diced onions. I chose yellow onions. You can pick whatever onions you'd like. We've got eight ounces of cheddar cheese, some chicken stock that we'll be using, 16 ounces of mushrooms, some bacon, and then we've got our salt and pepper for seasoning. Um, you are gonna make sure to have, you will need to make sure to have a large skillet that you can cook the entire soup in. All right, we are gonna get started with our prized potato soup. The first ingredient you're gonna cook is your bacon. I'm gonna be a little extra and try my hardest to not actually touch any of the bacon. You're gonna cook that bacon for about 10 minutes or until it's crispy. The recipe calls for eight slices, so you may have to do this um, a couple pans at a time. If I were at home in my personal kitchen, I would recommend using a griddle so that you could cook all of your strips of bacon at once. Um, you will need the bacon grease that is left over afterwards. Though. Cooking bacon is a decently long process. I've gone ahead and diced up some of the rest of ours so that we can maybe make this a little bit faster. Um, but recommendation, while you're cooking your bacon, go ahead and get some of your other ingredients measured out and prepped so that by the time you get to that point, you can just add it all in and be done. All right, our bacon is mostly done cooking, so we are going to work on getting that out of the skillet. Remember, you need the bacon grease, so do not dump your bacon grease when you get your bacon out. I would like mine a little bit crispier, so once you get your bacon out, you are going to dump your onions in that bacon grease and saute them for about five minutes. We are gonna dump those onions in. And the recipe does say to cook until translucent, so you are gonna to wanna to let them cook for that solid five minutes or so. You also wanna make sure you get them diced nicely. I kinda of cheated, work smarter, not harder, and bought the um, pre-diced container of onions from the grocery store. So our onions are looking really good. We are gonna add that two cups of sliced mushrooms and cook for another five minutes. I'd also recommend you not cook this hungry. This is torture. All right, we have let our mushrooms cook in our onions for about five minutes. Some of you are gonna be confused as to why we're moving on because the mushrooms have not watered yet. You are just sauteing them enough to get them ready for the rest of the ingredients. You've got about 30 minutes of cooking still to do for the soup. So they will, they will shrink down. They will be tender, I promise. Um, so at this point, we're going to add our clove of minced garlic and our diced potatoes. And we are going to give that a stir and cook that for another five minutes. So we've got about two more minutes for our mushrooms, potatoes, and onions to cook. Um, so just a reminder, our next step is three cups of our um, chicken broth. I went with the full sodium. You feel free to do whatever your healthy little heart desires and do low sodium, no sodium. And then we are gonna do four cups of whole milk. All right. So we are gonna, I'm gonna start with the broth. We are gonna do three cups of our chicken broth. I'm gonna give that a stir real quick. And then I will add the milk in, just make sure I've got enough space. All right, and that is four cups of whole milk. We are just barely fitting. Now that you've added your milk and your chicken broth, you are going to give that a stir and simmer it for 20 minutes or until your diced potatoes are fork tender. Um, if you don't know what fork tender means, you can literally get a fork and spear it or smash it against the side and you don't have any like stiffness in the potato. 
All right, so we've let our diced potatoes, mushrooms, onions um, all simmer in the chicken stock and milk for about 20 minutes. Um, now we're gonna add our potato puree. This is not in the recipe. I made this off screen. Um, so our uh, potato puree is about three large russet potatoes diced up and boiled until soft. And then I put our potatoes in a food processor with a full stick of salted butter and about a cup of heavy whipping cream, salt and pepper to taste. Um, this is going to be our thickening agent for, for the soup. So that is our potato puree. You can see it is runny. Um, you don't want it to be stiffer than that. And we have a very full pot. So um, we are going to add this just a couple of dollops at a time and kind of work those in so that we're not making an absolute mess on our skillet. Um, but you are going to use two cups of potato puree. So there is our first cup of potato puree in there. And I'm gonna work on incorporating that before we add our second cup. It's okay if you're messy. I know all these professional cooking shows are also clean and precise. Real life's not like that. I don't know if it comes across on camera just how full this pot is. Um, so you might wanna make sure that you get yourself a very large soup skillet. And the reason I went with this one is so that we could cook the bacon in the same pot we were gonna make the soup so that it wasn't difficult trying to transfer bacon grease from one pot to another. So now that you've added your puree in, you will add your shredded cheese and your sour cream. All right, so you're gonna use three fourths a cup of sour cream or more if you like your uh, potato soup a little heavier. So we are just gonna, I'm just gonna give it a good squeeze. And our cheese, very carefully stir again. And you're gonna let that cook for five minutes. So our soup is done. So we are going to plate up our finished product. Again, we made prized potato soup from the unofficial Witcher cookbook. And we are ladling a couple of spoonfuls of this delicious looking potato soup and are gonna to top it off with our garnishes. So we've got some cheese. Gonna to top some cheese off, grab some of our bacon. An old dollop of sour cream, and we have got a bowl of prized potato soup from the unofficial Witcher Cookbook. And we want to thank you so much for joining us for October's Cookbook Corner. Be sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on our future videos, such as Cookbook Corner, Cozy Story Times with Miss Mary, or promos for our upcoming events.